Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where last time we unlocked the entire map, allowing us to finally get into oil, the most profitable thing in the game. And we went absolutely crazy extracting as much oil as we possibly could, because it's literally printing money. Except we can't get the money into our wallets, because as things were finishing up last time, Everything started collapsing. We have a traffic apocalypse going on, and then a literal apocalypse going on. Everyone's died. Oh, and also a train apocalypse. All of the trains are stuck. Yep, every problem we could possibly have, it's happening. Right here, right now. And probably the worst thing of all is that we can't even realize our potential with all these problems. We're making like 120,000 a week. So after we're done fixing everything, oh boy, we're gonna get right back to oil and make all of the money in the world. But first, look at me. Look at me! Do you see me? If so, that means you have eyes. Eyes that are looking at a screen. A screen that's emitting blue light which can cause eye strain and make you lose focus. So protect your eyes with blue light protection glasses from GMG Performance. I've been wearing these Ornos model glasses for over a year now, and it's been fantastic. I didn't even recognize how much strain was on my eyes until I started using these, and the strain went away, and I was like, huh, I've been suffering forever. In fact, they work so well, they can reflect lasers. And also, look at me right now. I can't even have my script open, because then you can't see my eyes. All the light is being reflected. Brother, it's crazy. Almost as crazy as GMG Performance's Black Friday sale, where everything is 50% off until November 29th. Also, they just released their next generation of glasses. So pick up a pair, pick up two. They'd make a great gift because everybody's looking at screens quite a lot more lately. And also Christmas is coming up sooner than you think. So check out the description to take advantage of this big 50% discount before it ends. And thank you GMG Performance for sponsoring this video. But anyway, let's get back to our video games. Oh yeah, and please remember to leave a like, thank you. Now let's get started, probably with the health of our citizens, because we can't really extract oil if we don't have workers. Ah, <sighs> and I guess, I guess we will make healthcare more available. I suppose we could build an extra clinic here, maybe over there, and in other places, maybe even a full-on hospital. I'm feeling generous, mainly because once we do this, we get infinite money. Oh, and watch my favorite thing. Since everything is in such chaos, whenever we press play, the hospitals go absolutely crazy. A lot of people are trying to help. Oh my gosh, hearses, every other car is a hearse. Hospital vans freaking out to the greatest degree. Well, that's gonna add a lot to the traffic problem then, won't it? Eh, but you know, the traffic over here really isn't too bad. It's just all those oil trucks. So why are all of these trucks causing such a massive problem? What is going on? Where are they going? That's the big question. Hmm. Going off this way? That way? I can't really tell. It seems like it's all fine when it gets to this point. This all seems fine. What's happening here? Why is there such a big problem? Oh. Oh, this should have been obvious. The oil trucks are trying desperately to go to these cargo train terminals. These cargo train terminals are, generally speaking, the easiest way for materials to get outside of the map, which is always the goal of our exporting vehicles. So that means all of these trucks, all they want is chew. A train to deliver to. Fair enough. That's something I can do. But first, the reason why all of this train stuff is getting clogged is not because of the extra oil trucks coming in. It's actually because this intersection is just bad. We gotta fix it. I knew this would be a problem eventually, and today is the day we do something about it. And the reality is we just have to treat trains like any other vehicle. Really, the only complicated thing with trains is just making sure the right side of the track is connected. So if this train, oh gosh. So if this train didn't exist here, and this train didn't exist here, and this one didn't, yeah, you can see that this side of the track is going in this direction, 
and this side of the track is going in the other direction. So, so long as you have one ways, kind of going out on the right and in on the left, we'll say, then the tracks don't cross, and that makes them wildly more efficient. Right on, so this is temporary, but it's pretty good, should work out. Now, this should solve the train conundrum, but you know, the traffic actually might not be caused from all the trucks wanting to go over to here. It might be something else. Maybe the trucks are trying to go to here. No, it doesn't really look like it. I don't know. So to try and isolate variables, we're going to make a very, very temporary train station over here. Like so temporary, I could almost vomit. But it'll work. So trucks, you, you wanna go over there? Well, they probably do, but you know, they're kind of stuck in infinite traffic that goes all the way down <laughs> to infinity. Okay, fine. You win game. Boop. We're booping it. Okie doke, so the chaos begins again. Go garbage trucks, go ambulances. Here comes the oil. Now we get to see what happens. A lot of vehicles still going over this way. Where are you going? Why would you ever go in this direction? Quality of plant. Oh, interesting. I forgot that some of the raw resources that we produce actually go to some of our industrial zones. So this little place wants a little bit of oil for stuff. Okay. So no matter what, there will be some oil traffic involved here. Let's just hope it's not too much. Looking relatively clear for now. Oh, here we go. Look at how badly these guys wanted a train station. Wow. We might have to make like a series of train stations. This is so much demand for the chew. And also, we've only really got started with oil. This whole block is gonna be extraction and processing. And then we have all this oil over here too. So like, <laughs> we're gonna need trains out the straight up wazoo. And I waited a couple minutes here, completely redid this train interchange. And it works essentially the same, just looks a little bit better here. And citizen-wise, there's still sick people, but they're healing. Like, we have more population. It's all good. Minor flooding for whatever reason. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> One little problem I did notice, though, is that sometimes the poopy, like, polluted water here is getting into our water pumps here. But it's almost kind of random, so I'll, I'll keep monitoring this to see if it happens again. Main thing is, now that we have everything under control, check it on traffic. Traffic is all cleared up because we have <laughs> this one train station. But of course, the demand is so obnoxiously huge that this entire area has completely filled up with nonsense. So we need a super mega hyper insert keyword, train station. In fact, we're probably gonna need multiple in this area. And we will start with one over here. It's because we have a little bit of space. So we're going to start with four, I think. And we have to build them in a very particular way so they run efficiently. Uh, mainly just so the trucks go in the right port. That way the train station looks like this and the trucks don't cross each other's path. If they do cross each other's path, like say we had this train station over on the other side of the road, it like ruins everything. <laughs> ruins everything. And I'm trying to say this is efficient. Look, we need more train stations. Okay, and then with four train stations, we have to be really careful with how we connect all four to like our main train line. We only have one train line or one train track that goes outside of the map. So all the trains in the world have to fit and work with this one. So we have to be very, very careful. Uh, this train line here is for passengers and inner city travel. So we'll have to add in a new one. And we'll just go over this way. And then we'll start to get close to these other train stations. And how this has to work is we have to worry about like a lot of train traffic being here. Like look at the traffic over here, right? There's gonna be a lot of trains. So we'll have one entrance like that. Then it will split off to there. Okay. And then at this point, there's gonna be another split as well. Just so the splits are a little far apart. I can 
go to there. And then this can go to here. Okay, so it's about, it's kind of like a branching tree. There's lots of space in between. So hopefully a train doesn't block the intersection. And that's pretty good. Then we'll do the same thing except mirrored on the other side. So two train stations would merge together onto one line. Same deal over here. And then these two lines way later on will merge together. And finally go back to the main track. Yep, yeah, and they're not going to be crossing. There's lots of space between things. And, you know, generally, this is the right idea. <laughs> you just have to make it look not like this. Well, that's what boopin's for. Am I right or am I right? Look at this all now. Oh, so organized. So beautiful. And then, as this line meets back up over here, we have another relatively organized entrance. We might have some problems because... This inbound line and this intersection are close together, like with this little stretch. But we'll see how this goes. I suppose the only new thing really is the road system, which isn't too complicated. The trucks will go through here, goes over this way, scoot right to go to the highway, scoot this way to go somewhere else, I don't know. And then I fixed up this highway interchange so it was a little bit more efficient. Oh, and then to get here, this is where things get very spooky. So I have a highway that runs alongside this entire district. It's pretty easy to get to, blah, blah. Everything goes down this way. And the spooky thing is, I don't think the trucks will actually use all four of these. I think the trucks are going to be like, yo, this one's the closest. So all the trucks will just go to it. I'm 90% sure that's going to be the case, but I'm, I'm hoping that all the trucks will go to all of these equally. I've tried to make the roads kind of like that. Like, I try to spread them out so the trucks will maybe spread out across all four stations and not clog one up. But we'll see. Here comes the horde. Please be chill. We just have to see them go to two different stations, really. Oh, okay, already, oh, huge, huge. It works, it works exactly as intended. I I really didn't expect this. I, I built this whole thing and I decorated it and then I was like, oh yeah, they're probably not gonna use them all, but they're using them all. And they, they seem to actually be spreading out quite evenly. Oh, that's perfect. This also means we're gonna have infinite freaking money because this is gonna be so efficient. Wow. Uh, I guess the only other question is, is this enough? A and B, will the traffic end up working out? What is, hello? Why aren't they using the highway? What are they doing? This way? What, what, what is this? They're going back to the train station? Oh. Are they going back to the factories here? Oh, they super are. I, I completely forgot they do this. That's very important. So half of the traffic is just trying to go back to the extraction plants they came from. Where I kind of built this road system thinking all of them would want to go to the highway. Okay. Well, that's a relatively easy fix. Essentially, we just add in a road. Maybe from like here. Over this way. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Now they can get right back to the beginning of the district. And now we don't rock and roll? What? Why? Why are they not using my new road? I made this for you. I, I don't even need to look. We think this road's too slow. They're going straight to the highway, over this way, and then back to this. Ridiculous. Luckily, we can upgrade this road. A. And B, because we have mods, we can set the speed limit on this road to no limit? Sure. Welcome to the Autobahn. Go. Check it out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Definitely, oh yeah, you definitely want to go down that road. Sheesh, look at that guy. He's moving. He's actually only moving so fast because his truck is painted red, but <laughs> he's going, man. Yeah, they like the no speed limits. This is a good idea. Maybe I should do this to literally all the roads. <laughs> that could be profitable. Maybe not, though. Okay, and yeah, this is all a complete disaster. I could fix that, da-da-da. Just wanted to proof concept this. All the trucks are going that way now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fixed everything, except everyone's dying. Why did 2,000 people just die? Why are they all sick? Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Polluted water sneaking into the sippy drink. So clearly we've gotta deal with that pretty quick. And we are going to make a super massive sippy plant. So we never have to worry about water again. <laughs> Cursed words, am I right? <laughs> but no, 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 no. We're gonna make a water extraction plant that's so big we don't need to worry about it anymore. It's gonna be great. So we'll throw that bad boy in, and then check this out. I have a mod. A modification that adds in these hefty boys, each of which can pump 384,000 cubic meters of water per week. So realistically, to run our city, we need about four of these. But I don't really wanna worry about water forever, so why don't we make more than four? You know, something like 26. That should do. Oh, fun fact, these water extractors literally do take water from the river. So we might run into the interesting scenario where we actually drain the river, but come on, look, it's a river. Yeah, it's like, psh, it'll be fine. Oh, but wait a second, wait a second, what is, what is this? What do you mean, why is there all this flooding? Everything just suddenly flooded. But why? We're literally taking the water, why would it flood? This, is, that doesn't make any sense. We're taking more water than we should. Hello? That's so weird. Well, just don't smell or drink the water and you'll be fine. Oh, and also, how is this train intersection doing? Mm, it's running. I'm seeing trains stopping, so it has problems, but it hasn't broke yet. I think it's just a slow system. I don't think it's actually gonna break though. I will keep monitoring the situation. Hmm, well, this is quite suspicious. It would seem that all the trains in these intersections are stopping all over the place. But you know what? The system isn't actually broken here. It is slow, but it's not broken. You know where we're actually having a major issue? It's with the game. We broke the game in multiple ways. Number one, the trains that are leaving with all of this oil and all these products, they can't get processed by the game fast enough when they leave the map. So they end up being this weird caterpillar thing. And this eventually is gonna break our whole map. So that's one thing. Another thing is, hey, you know that water? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Even funnier, look at this. You're not gonna believe it. We drained the river, and not only did we drain the river, but all the poopy water has flown back as well. And the poop is now entering our water system again. So we started today with all the citizens getting sick and the trains being broken, causing traffic jams, and now we're in the exact same position. All the citizens are about to get sick, and all the trains are broken, but for a different reason this time. And I'm pretty sure there's a saying for this, but we want to keep this video monetized. All right, but the water thing is something we can solve relatively easily. This train thing, this is uh, mission critical. If the map can't process the trains fast enough, I think I'm gonna have to find a mod or do something sneaky. And of course there's a mod to fix all of our problems. So it's an optimized uh, connections mod thing that actually isn't going to fix this issue of the trains being unloaded from the map, but it's gonna fix a different problem where everything's literally on fire, and also trains not being loaded enough. So apparently these trains, they leave, yeah, like this, where they only have like one freight car. And now I've downloaded a mod that'll force the trains to load up four times more before leaving. Also, I made this. It's a new train track. Where is it going? It's going right outside of the map because I got another mod which allows us to make our own outside connections. It's a little cheaty, so I probably won't be making any more outside connections aside from this one because, you know, I want like challenge to the game. I don't want to just connect every cargo hub to the outside of the map. That'd be weird. So we'll see how that goes. That should fix all the train problems. Water problems, you might have noticed. Hey, 
all the water pumps. They're gone. <laughs> Causing a horrific flood that's going to destroy a huge chunk of the city. But aside from that, no, the problem's solved because we're taking the water from the ocean now. Aha! That'll solve things. And we got a bunch of those big water plants right in here. And now our water extraction rate is almost 4 million, which is four times more than our consumption right now. Meaning we're gonna be fine on water forever, unironically. Oh, and check this out. This tree line actually is working beautiful. Didn't know if this mod would work. <laughs> First time using it. But we got a train inbound, meaning trains can also leave as well. Right? Probably. Oh yeah, did everything burn down? <laughs> See, if you have traffic, your emergency vehicles can't get anywhere, and it causes this to happen. Anyway, with the amount of money we're about to be making, it doesn't even matter. And look at I. This is um. This is just bewildering. We still don't have enough train stations. We're going to have to add in more. Well, actually, just one more. Because we're gonna build another one of these super stations, probably somewhere over here, or, or somewhere else. We don't want all of the traffic going to this bottom right-hand corner. We want stuff to move around a bit more than that. <laughs> and I'd love for that to happen, but I flooded the world, great. And now all the trains are drowning. Why can't I have nice things? Why must I do this to myself? Oh. Oh. Oh no. The sippy drink runneth over. But at least we can just build a bridge for the trains and then we can get our money, right? Oh and hey, look at that. The caterpillar has pretty much cleared up now. The trains are running smoothly. Man, very smoothly. And with this extra track here, we don't need to worry about anything ever again, probably. Except for this massive flood that's destroying my entire city right now. But aside from that, things are looking good. Like, it's something to be said that with half the city underwater, we're still making $70,000 per week. But once that all clears out and we finish up the oil industry area, I'm sure we're going to be making upwards of $300,000 a week. But that's gonna be happening next time. And before we wrap things up, remember to check out the GMG Performance Blue Light Protection Glasses. First link in the description. And until the end of November 29th, everything is 50% off for Black Friday. So again, first link in the description. But that's gonna be all here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.